Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'd just like to announce that we now have an official Discord server. Join using the link in the description to get sneak peeks on upcoming videos and chat with other fans. With all that out of the way, please enjoy. <laughs> As of this most recent patch, Asgore's weakest move is Fire 1. It does low damage and will almost always be punished when used in neutral. This is mostly because the property that allowed Fire 1 to still hit opponents while it's stunned was removed. Overall, it's become relatively useless when fighting higher than for just anyone who knows how to counter it. To be honest, I don't think Phase 2 Asgore has any majorly underused moves, except the counter of Fire Titan Sure, it does a lot of damage, but it's very impossible for a character that heavily relies on super armor. There are very few instances when a person has to use an LMB is a good idea. To conclude, countering with Asgore is way too risky, especially when other options are available like 3 or 4. Now on to Azrael. His worst move is Chaos Saber 3, which is also a counter. Yeah, counters might be a trend throughout this video. Even though Azrael utilizes his counter very well with his fast-paced spammy playstyle, the risk of using counters still puts Chaos Saber 3 a notch below the other moves. It's not a bad move at all, it's just the least practical and does little to no damage. Next up, God of Hyperdeath. God of Hyperdeath has many meh lost souls such as 5 and 4, but Lost Souls 2 has to take the cake for the worst. Aside from a slight buff in usefulness in ranked multiplayer, it has absolutely no worth when it comes to 1v1s. It can't start combos, extend combos, or even end combos because of the pause of the music. I think we all saw this coming. Frisk's weakest move is Notebook 1. I can't even begin to describe how useless this counter is. It's predictable, weak, risky, and the mute it gives is absolutely worthless. If the gods bless you and it actually lands, you better pray for Worn Dagger 2 or 3 to be off cooldown. To be honest, this is probably the worst move on the list. It was hard picking which one of the literal five available moves was the worst, but I settled on five. It does pretty good damage, but it doesn't even confirm on half mana, held version 2. It's just overall pretty underwhelming as an ult. <laughs> Now, onto Sans, his weakest move is Bones 1. I mean, it sure does throw bones. Six to be exact. I'd say that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, Kara's weakest move is Souls 2 by a long shot. Its niche use of breaking blocks has led it to being extra damage at the end of a combo. Sure, it does decent damage and can start combos, but nobody blocks long enough for it to hit. It's incredibly rare when it still finds any usage in its enchanted job. To be honest, it wasn't easy picking a worse move for first phase Undyne because her moveset is really well put together, but I ended up going with help too. It's a solid move, but it's only here because the tap version is better. Tap 2 is great at starting and extending combos while only having a 20 second cooldown. If Hell 2 was its own individual move, it wouldn't be on this list. 
Surprisingly, Undyne's worst move in phase 2 is 8 or 3rd phase. There is no circumstance where going into 3rd phase is more desirable than staying in 2nd phase. 2nd phase has longer combos, faster cooldowns, more determination, and a faster Spear of Justice. Poor true hero. Always gets the short end of the stick. Speaking of true hero, third phase Undyne's worst move is held too. It looks like a pretty situationally good move, until you learn that it only does three more damage than its tap version on a zero defense dummy. It's harder to combo without a damage reward? Yikes. Now, onto Jevil, their worst move is 4. There's not much to say, it's just the worst version of 17 start combos. 2 is only better than 1, I guess. Last but not least, second phase Jevil's worst move is... also 4. It's supposed to be a combo starter, but it can be punished by almost any character. It's only uses as a mana punish after unlocking with it after 2, which barely ever hits. God, imagine going through 3 buffs and still being this useless. Okay, now that that's over, let's head to the honorable mentions. Trident and Fire Trident 2 for just being extra damage. Lost Souls 5 for not providing any use, and always missing. Real Knife 2 for just being extra damage. Soul 6 for being used a total of 3 times throughout Soul Shatter's history. First Phase Undyne held 1 for being easily avoidable. True Hero held 7 for never hitting. Jevil 6 for being slow and only extra damage. Hello, and thank you so much for reaching the end. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to see more from me. Also, we now have an official Discord server. Join using the link in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching, and see y'all lovelies in the next video. Bye bye.